All righty, so everyone has gotten the good news about the announcement today at Canada's Wonderland. I'm really happy that my prediction ended up being right. Um, I always get really sad now or upset or just frustrated when I think something or I say something and it doesn't end up happening because I'm really trying this year um, to present only um, well thought out um predictions or uh, just like presenting only things that are actually going to happen. So I am working on that, um, which is why there's a specific new 2022 construction project. I'm going to use the words construction project now that I can't talk about yet because I want to make sure that it is actually construction. So I have to wait for the park to open because the drone obviously can only see so far. Um, so I can only make speculation on some things but i have some really good news anyways we'll we'll talk about that when wonderland actually opens and i run to the construction site to film it nonetheless a lot of questions are coming in um and i'm going to go over everything new um or everything you should know about canada's wonderland opening on july 7th for non-season pass holders and july 5th for season pass holders winterfest and howling haunt are going to be happening uh, if you go over to the events um, page on Canada's Wonderland website, they will be announcing their operation calendars for Winterfest and Halloween Haunt soon. So that does confirm they will be happening. Um, and by then, <laughs> if we're not back to normal, we're going to be rioting. No, I'm kidding. Um, but by then, we should be heading back to normal life, maybe not even wearing masks, okay? Other than, like, our snow gear for Winterfest. But Canada's Wonderland's reopening protocols. When Canada's Wonderland reopens, we want you to have an amazing day and feel safe when visiting blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read that. So a reservation is required. All guests must make a reservation in advance before coming to the park. You will require a mobile app, which comes with the last thing, use of location services. So Wonderland's going to be using their mobile app and their location services to track guests in the park. And security is going to go to like very high areas where there's like a lot of like grouping, I'm assuming. And they're going to like disperse the crowds and help um, with social distancing. Uh, face coverings are required on all rides um, and outdoors and all that. I'm sure they'll have no mask areas where you can just go rest quickly. Um, Splashworks does not require a mask. You don't need to wear a mask in Splashworks uh, is my understanding. I could be a little wrong about that. So please take that with a grain of salt. Um, but you will obviously will not require face masks on water slides or in the water attractions. I don't think Wonderland wants to be a part of any waterboarding today. Um, health screenings, so health screenings and temperature checks will be required for all guests and associates and hand sanitization stations have been added throughout the park. Before you leave home, tickets and reservations for Canada's Wonderland and Splashworks will be available starting June 17th at 9 a.m. Again, as discussed in a previous video, you will need a separate reservation for both Canada's Wonderland and Splashworks, so make sure to reserve for both, and you can reserve up to two days um, together, uh, so at a time. You can reserve, so let's say I wanted to go both June 5th and 6th, or 6th and 7th, whatever it is, 5th and 6th. I can reserve for 5th and 6th, but I cannot reserve for the 8th until I've gone and shown up for my June 5th. So then that alleviates that, and I'm only registered for June 6th, so then I can go in and uh, reserve for June 8th. So you can only have two reservations at a time, but another good news is you can reserve up to 14 people under one reservation. So that's super awesome. Um... You can only buy tickets or season passes online. Do not show up to the park to buy tickets or season passes. They will not be able to do it there. Do everything online. Um, and please know that everything is cashless and everything is done mobile-wise um, or credit card, debit card, or mobile app. So please just remember that and be prepared beforehand. Please have your picture on your mobile app season pass ready to go. Um, and you can do everything on your mobile app or on Canada's Wonderland's website before you go to the park. So just make sure you do that. Make sure you are reading everything that Canada's Wonderland has on their website and their um, little prep before. There's going to be little things that we're all going to screw up here and there um, or not know maybe. So just make sure we're reading all the fine details before we show up to the park. We don't want to make their life any more um, stressful because they have a lot they have to do, the employees at Canada's Wonderland. So let's make sure we're doing our end of the thing to uh, understand what we need to do if you have any questions comment them down below and i'll try and get answers um so uh when you arrive at canada's wonderland parking toll booth we will ask for proof of parking payment 
Um, if you do not have par a parking voucher, you may pay with a cashless payment method such as credit card, Apple Pay, or Google Pay. Um, as soon as you exit your vehicle, go ahead and put your face covering and keep it on while at the park. A face covering is always required, except while dining um, seated or when experiencing a water attraction or in Splashworks. Um, face covering should completely cover the nose and mouth and not have exhalation valves or vents, which allows virus particles to escape. Um, as you approach the front gate, you will be asked to confirm that no one in your party has been exposed or experienced any symptoms of COVID-19 in the past 14 days. Um, temperature checks will be conducted at the gate. If anyone in your party has a temperature of 38 degrees Celsius, 100.4 100 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, you will be directed to leave the park. Um, at the gate, Candace Wonderland um, will check your bags. Uh, and uh, at our touchless turnstiles, scan your season pass or single day tickets inside and mobile app will let you begin to have fun. Um, when you're in the park, uh, wash your hands frequently, avoid touching your face, wear your face covering at all times. Um, face coverings are always required unless you're in Splashworks or on a water attractions. Maintain two meters physical distance. This is basically all your stuff. Um, I'm just trying to basically go over things that we may not know. Obviously, some attractions, areas, and all that will be closed. I'll let you guys see that when the park opens. Um, I think it's pretty obvious which attractions are not going to be open. Um, and obviously, just balancing out kids and thrill, closing some kids' areas, and you know, having like go karts and Extreme Sky Flyer not open. Um, some tables have been removed for dining to make room. Indoor dining is not permitted at this time. Distancing is marked on the floor with lines. They have directional stickers on pathways as well. Um, shops, merchandise, and games. So doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm just trying to see if it says anything about the arcades. So I'm going to go over some frequently asked questions because this is pretty important. In the past, could I show up? So this one just says you cannot show up to the park to buy a season pass or tickets. Um, all guests will need to make a reservation prior to visiting Canada's Wonderland or Slashworks. Um, will each person in my party need a reservation? Yes, you'll need a reservation number attached to tickets. Again, you can do 14 tickets under a reservation number. Um, you can start making reservations June 17th at 9 a.m. Any of you um, theme park enthusiasts already know that, though. Um, there is no wait list if a day is fully booked. So if someone does cancel, you just got to keep your eye on it. Um, if the day you want to go is fully booked and just scoop up that day the minute it becomes available. Um, right now, they just said if guidelines change, more uh, reservations will become available per day. But right now, it's a set amount. Um... So they're just saying you can do your season pass processing online um, to make it a lot easier. Uh, there's no extra charge for season pass reservations. Do, do, do. I'm just trying to see if there's any important questions. A lot of this, again, you guys can go on Canada's Wonderland's website and read this yourself. Um, you are required to buy parking online, or again, you can use a credit card or um, Apple Pay and all that. Um, do I need to complete a health assessment questionnaire for each person in my family? You do not need to complete a health assessment questionnaire prior to arriving to the park. Instead, as you approach the front gate, you will be asked to confirm that no one in your party, blah, blah, blah. All guests will need to make a reservation prior to visiting Canada's one of the specials. If you arrive at the park without a reservation. Okay. So again, these are all very straightforward. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I can add or give advice. Again, the most important thing is buy your tickets and season passes right now. So get it all done, get your picture taken, make sure your pass is actually registered and not just a voucher. And when those reservation systems open up on July um, 7th, not July 7th, that's when they open, on June 17th, uh, when the system opens at 9 a.m., you're all ready to go. Because what's going to happen, as we saw with the Toronto Zoo, there's a lot of Ontarians and Canadians that are bored out of their mind. And it's going to be a rush for reservations. So 
Um, again, it's just you're going to want to be prepared. Have everything done. Do not be that last minute person. Get those season passes purchased right now. There was already a queue of like 2,000 people earlier today just to buy a season pass. That's how many people were buying it. There was a queue um, on top of the people actually in the system buying. So it's going to be it's going to be a nightmare. And again, everyone, please just be respectful of all park employees. This is really difficult on them. So if something isn't working properly, um, again, this is a learning experience. They have no experience or pre-planning other than what's happened. So Wonderland's maybe a little more streamlined because other American parks opened up before us and under the same chain, they've been able to learn from mistakes. So we are a little lucky with that. But just please, like, if there's any, like, hiccups or anything doesn't go perfectly, do not take it out on any park employee or the park. Again, we are just lucky to have made it through this, and we're now on the other end, and we get to go somewhat have some sort of taste of normal. Um, I guess, like, the other thing is, I, a lot of people don't know this, Canada's Wonderland is also a smoke-free park now. Uh, so you can't vape or smoke anywhere in the park. There's no designated smoking areas. Um, so just be prepared for that as well. You will have to leave the park to go vape or smoke. And if security catches you, obviously there's consequences. But I guess I should throw that in there. I know there's more. It's so funny. Like, I'm so lazy when it comes to, like, pre-planning. Because if I write myself a script, I sound so scripted and I hate myself and I don't like the video. And then if I don't write a script, I always, like, upload this video and I'm like, oh, my God, I missed this. It's just exciting, okay? If you have questions, please comment down below and I will try and answer all your questions. I will actively, over the next two days, keep an eye on this comment section of this video and answer any questions. So if I did miss something in this video, ask it down below and I promise I will try and answer it. Again, Halloween Haunt Winterfest happening. Don't panic. The fall schedule. So right now the schedule ends in September 6th. But the same thing happened at Cedar Point and later dates were added. So the season most likely won't end September 6th. Fall dates will be added um, as they go along. Um, the park is closing at 8 p.m. right now on operating days. But then it transitions to 10 p.m., um, which is actually we're, we're pretty lucky as a park for that. Um, and yeah, uh, no staffing issues that I can even like tell of yet compared to, um, the American parks. If I'm taking my own experience as a store manager, um, coming out of COVID, there might be like staffing issues with leadership, but outside of that, I can't see them struggling to hire people to get into that park right now. Everyone's looking for a job. Um, and yeah, it's just super exciting. Um, is there going to be entertainment? According to the website, there is. They're going to release their entertainment line. I don't know what that's going to consist of. We're seeing patio singers are allowed in Toronto, so I would assume Wonderland would be allowed some of their entertainment, like the skydive, not the skydivers, the high divers off the mountain, um, and walk around characters. So I think like uh, it's going to look fairly normal outside of face masks, obviously, like that doesn't look normal. Um, and then obviously the, I'm going to guess, I have no idea what their capacity restrictions are, uh, indoor it's 15%. So I'm going to guess anywhere from 30 to 50% is their attendance cap. Um, it could be 15 to 30%, but I'm going to put it 30 to 50%. Um, but yeah, that's my prediction. Be prepared, be prepared, be prepared. Thanks so much for supporting the channel and watching this video. Have a good one guys. Bye.